I'm going to tell you one of my first brushes with anti-Semitism in my life. I was 23 years old, and at the time I was going to um, Berkeley College of Music in Boston, and I I lived very very close to uh, the campus, and um, Boston is a very uh, compact, small city, and uh, Berkeley was on the uh, the main road called uh, Massachusetts Avenue. We just call it Mass Ave. And I was walking home from classes in broad daylight. It was maybe, let's see, maybe uh, 1 o'clock, 1.30 in the afternoon. And I, uh, I, I usually did a, a cut through. Um, instead of walking all the way down and around, I, I would cut through uh, sort of this little, it was like a like a little strip mall that had like a uh, like a little a little cut through that would take me right to um, my street. And at the time, I was living um, on the on the corner of um, between Boston proper and Roxbury. Uh, it was a it was a street called Westland Avenue, and um, it was a it was a pretty short street. And then it uh, on the corner of it was the the uh, the Boston Symphony Orchestra, and anything past that uh, was in to Roxbury. And so as I was walking with all my books and all my stuff in my hand, uh, a guy uh, came up behind me. And he started to uh, to taunt me and say uh, really nasty things to me. Uh, he he said, uh, "What what's the matter? Uh, what's the matter, Jew bitch? Don't don't you don't you talk? Are you are you a mute? What's the matter, Jew bitch?" And he came right up behind me and he pushed. Um, a weapon into my back and I was underneath the the um, the cut through where there weren't very many people so I was alone and I I was so scared so scared that I um, I, I, I didn't want to say anything because I knew if I said anything at all it would set him off and give him an excuse to uh, to continue and I I just kept walking and I knew if I could just get through the cut through I would be out in front of um, in the daylight you know and on the street where there was a, a a small supermarket and there would be lots of people around so I just, I just, I prayed to get through um, this, this cut through and this guy screaming at me um, with something in my back and um, kind of pushing me along. And I just like, kept really silent. And finally I got into the, the daylight and I got into all the, the people and um, he was gone. And that was my that was that was my first um, really bad experience with anti-Semitism. Um, it, it, it was something that I it, it, it's something I will never forget it ever ever forget it. Um, it was uh, so violent and. Um, when I when I got home, I just I, I just went to my room, and I, I was just shaking, just shaking, and uh, just just shaking. And then eventually, uh, I started to cry, and um, it was it was it was hard because there was my roommate at the time wasn't there, um, 
So I, I had nobody to talk to at that really crucial point. And uh, it's just, it, it's, it's very, um, like I said, it's, some, it's something I'll, I'll never, ever forget. That was my, that was my first really violent experience with anti-Semitism. There's a video that that I just watched by uh, the WZO uh, about anti-Semitism at UC Berkeley and uh, how it restricts the uh, the academic community. It restricts the um, the learning and the free movement of of Jews on that campus. Um, and I hope that I just tweeted it. Um, I, I hope that uh, the WZO will allow me to mirror this video because I think it's it's really really important to understand uh, how how horrible it is to be the um, to be the, the the victim of such things. I, I'm surprised that I'm that video just watching that video brought back that memory for me when I was 23 and uh, seeing those college students and uh, understanding the, what they go through and then I remembered my my experience and I just had to share that with everyone I think uh, the next time I know that some people are just going to be anti-Semites no matter what, but I think that um, remembering uh, and, and, and showing what actually happens to just regular everyday people, just minding their own business, trying to get an education and to see what happens in situations like that, I think it's important that we, we tell our stories.